and then act gross in public, like what you know is on your scene, right? Because people are like to think of themselves as so sophisticated, okay? All right, um, where should we go from here? Who else can we pick tomorrow? That is a chase, yeah. Sagittarius. How do I wind up a Sagittarius? Easy. Laugh louder. Travel more. Wear bigger, baggier sweaters. Right? Um, um, do things in a bigger, better, louder, more vivid way. Uh, point out the lack of realism in our philosophies. Because Sagittarius and their ideals, my God. Now, there's a couple of ways, and this is cruel, this is X-rated. There's a couple of things you can do with Sagittarius that actually does reduce them to quivering wrecks, especially the ones under 40. So, this is only... Ooh, ooh. <laughs> Someone's eager. Um, there's, two, there's two things you can do with Sagittarius that really makes them just melt, and it involves two words. One is responsibility, and the other is the dreaded C word. Commitment. Sagittarius and commitment. Especially when they're under 40. Okay. How do I wind up a Gemini? All of them. Corner them at parties so they can't move about and circulate. And bore them to death with long monologues about your personal problems, right? Give them big hugs and then don't let go. <laughs> Gemini babies put them in a playpen, they run to the edge, doesn't matter how big it is. They like to think they're witty. Other people just think, oh, for God's sake, shut up. <laughs> they do talk. They talk, for, they talk for the country, yes. Um, what's that mean? That means three. Well, some sound Virgo, some sound Gary, so I'll actually pick on the weakest one, there's two Pisces. I, think, I, do, I do persecute Pisces, but they do enjoy it, really. Pisces make the best sailor masochists. Actually, they're also the greatest sensitives, the greatest intuitives, the most compassionate, the most empathic, the most wimpish. And not one of them can really react unless you take away their alcohol. Pisces and alcohol is such a weird mixture. Uh, they really should not drink alcohol. Um, you could accuse them of feeling sorry for themselves. You could tell them that they're actually wallowing in self-pity, but even I think that's cruel. And really, if you want to get them wound up, make sure that they meet you at five o'clock on a Friday afternoon somewhere where there's millions of people and give them lots of things to do. It's cruel, but it's fun to watch. They always squirm out somehow. And that leaves Virgo. Cool. How to wind up a Virgo is two absolutely classic ways. Firstly, stand next to them on a crowded tube train in the rush hour and go like this. Virgos and body odour. Virgos don't do body odour. Break into their bathroom when they're not there and move everything half an inch to the left. Watch them go to pieces. Virgos and bathrooms, they're like cancers with kitchens but worse. Most people think of Virgo as um, intelligence, analytical, logical, rational, and I sometimes anal. And they are the worst fuss budgets in the world, but if you really want to wind up a Virgo, just tell them that they're being too lackadaisical and too easygoing. They really hate that one. Um, and finally, last and least, how to wind up an Aries. I always do this last. And when you're doing a crowd of drunks and you, and you say, any Aries here? And they all go, yeah, me, me. So you go, right, let's move on. You, know, this thing. you ignore them. Ignore Aries. Pretend they're not there. Be kind to, to their enemies. Forget to introduce them at parties. Remind them of their low importance. Tell them they don't matter. At the end of the day, once you've wound up all 12 signs of Zodiac, you then end up at the last one, the 13th, the sign of the astrologer. You could wind up an astrologer by saying, that was a brilliant reading. By the way, I've got my time of birth 12 hours wrong. It doesn't matter, does it? <laughs> you could say, isn't it great? I read Russell Grant every day. He's fantastic. Uh, I'm not going to tell you what we call septic pain. I've missed it, man. <laughs> Actually, I think I'm going to quit here while I'm ahead. I'm going to say goodnight now. My name is Steve Joe Pope. I hope you've enjoyed this insight. I am a professional astrologer. Thank you.